Hey YouTube, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. Today I thought I would do a short video here on how to put, I hope, a driver's backrest onto a, uh, a road glide. And uh, the first thing I'm seeing is there's a lot more wires behind the seat than what was on the, uh, the uh, oh man, <laughs> uh, the electric light classic. Sorry, it's like, really, it's only been like a week. Um, but I got the backrest in, so I'm going to take the seat, I'm going to pop the seat off here first. And at first I didn't think it was a Phillips screw in the back of the seat, but it is. So, um, but the wiring in the back there is just, the wiring harness behind this seat is crazy. Uh, the antenna wires, the speaker wires are there. So I'm kind of manipulating my way around those. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pop the seat, and then we'll go ahead and show you the mount and everything. And hopefully, I should, I'm going to open the box first. Uh, and make sure we got the right kit here. So let me go ahead and do that first. So fortunately, uh, it looks like everything's here. This is the driver's backrest. And uh, looks like it's long enough to go through there. So that, that's a positive. This looks to be the proper mount. Now I can tell you, I had a backrest on uh, the other bike, you know, um, you know, and the funny thing is that the, the one dealer I went to, so I said, can I keep my backrest? And he said, no, it won't fit on that bike. To me, this looks like the exact same mount that I had on, on the other bike. So I don't know where he was coming from on that. I'm going to take the seat off, and, and I'm sure it's going to fit because I said road glide. So we will see uh, if it fits. So it did come with all the hardware, the springs, and everything's here. This is not a Harley kit. Um, I'll have a link in the video below uh, to show you what, where I bought this particular kit. Um, it, you know, it's brand new, and you know, I saved a bunch of money by buying it aftermarket, which I'm sure you may do with your parts. So let's go ahead and we'll pop the seat off here and see if this mount fits, and I'll see where I'm at. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I did have to take right here. The, uh, the saddlebag had to come off. Because you got to undo the passenger strap that the passenger holds on to at times. Uh, Mrs. HDR usually does not. She usually has her hands up on the hand grip here. But yeah, I mean, basically the mounts look pretty much the same uh, as what the other mounts did. Um, so, and those cables are what they are. I can't really reroute these at all, I don't think. I might try to reroute that one back, maybe. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. Maybe if I do that, keep it up a little higher. I don't know. I don't really know. These cables are going to get in my way or not here. But uh, <clears throat> they're just very tight behind that backrest there. So to get that screw is a little difficult. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and mount this bracket up on these bolts right here. Um, doesn't look to me like there's any front mount plus it goes up in here. We'll have to check that out a little bit. Okay, I'm thinking the first mounting plate I'm going to mount is this mounting plate here to the frame. <laughs> so I'm going to mount this to the frame first. And it's having a little trouble with the nut. So I was going to try to get this. Same problem when you do something, do it yourself at home. It never seems like you have the right tools. Um, so this mount, I left it just a little bit loose so I can, uh, I did get it in there. So I can uh, get this mount bracket put on here. And then uh, we'll go from there. I would think 7 16 So I figure I'd mount it up before I get everything tightened down, and we'll go from there. But yeah, I had to run to the hardware store to um, pick up a couple more wrenches so I can get those bolts up under there. I had nothing to put those bolts in there, so. All right. With that said, get a little new stuff here from the seat 
get that out of the way. Alright, put this mount on there. I thought I had it in a second one on the other bike, so hopefully that's going to be where I need it to sit. Just put these nuts back on there. These nuts are supplied by Harley. They're already on your bike. So we'll get those on there. When I bought the last one, this mount and everything was all put together for me, so. Because I bought it used on eBay. Got a pretty good deal. Alright, next. Next we need this bolt. If I lose that spring, that would be pretty devastating. This bolt is next. I think this bolt goes down to there. This bolt goes up on top. Goes up on top here. We are going backwards. All right. Pretty perfect. Keep that one hand tightened. This one down here, hand tightened. Same way. Pretty good. Need a wrench to tighten that one up on the top here, right here. Everything looks squared up, so it should be okay. The worst part is when you get this thing on the bike and then you find out later that you put it the wrong place. That's usually the toughest part. Tighten that a little bit. Alright. Good. Okay. Alright, so the mount's in. Like I said, hopefully it's in the right place. I did my last one and it was not. I had to tear it all back apart again. So, you shall see where I'm at here. And, uh, go from there. So, our next step here is to remount the seat. Get the screws back here, okay? Um, but I'm going to put the seat on first to make sure I get that backrest in where I have this setting. Because last time I had to take this all apart and move it up a couple of holes. So, it's a little bit trial and error. I mean, it should fit in every hole because it's just how far back you have it. So, it should fit in there fine. It looks like it's the same place I had it on the Electric Glide Classic. So, we should be okay there. So, <clears throat> let's see what happens when we get the seat on. And uh, hopefully everything will just mount back up and be good. All right, let's go ahead and do that. You said those wires are still bothering me where those are. It's just a pain how they have those wires in there. There's a spring that goes in here on the backrest. And it just fits right in between these two things here. Flip them on there. Then you got the tension 
of the backrest. See if we can get her in there now. This is the hardest part. Anybody who has a backrest knows. This is not the fun part here, guys. I get the zipper all pulled out here. Where it has to sit, possibly. Yeah, we're gonna try it there, I guess. We will try it there, and I can get this stupid screw back in here. Let's sit on, see what it feels like before I tighten it down. She could be loosened up a little bit more actually, but not too bad. I think we're going to leave her there. I think that's going to be okay. I hope I can adjust it some more. Not sure if I really like it or not, but we're going to go for it. So now we got to do, I'm replace the seat strap. that on there. Uh, sometimes that's why you take things to the dealers, huh? They can do it a whole lot faster than we can. But, it's good to be able to work on your own bike, I guess. Take a little bit extra time. seat strap back on with the new backrest on saddle bags are on tight and uh, I'm gonna just check the other side make sure it's all right but it should be I also bought uh, highway pegs and I need to put those on so that's going to be another uh, little treat I'm sure but uh, watched a few YouTube videos so I don't think it'd be too difficult but uh, we shall see how that goes all right well thanks for watching this video folks flip this back around here all right folks that's it that's the new backrest on the road glide ultra so until next time remember ride your own ride be safe out there and i'll talk to you harley day rides will be down and out another overcast day here in southwestern pennsylvania see ya